Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Summer, and I'm a district literacy specialist. And today I wanna to share with you a strategy that comes specifically from this fantastic text, which is called Reading Nonfiction by Kyleen Beers and Robert Probst. And this strategy is really to work in collaboration with another overarching strategy that they share in this text that works with any type of text marking or annotations that you would like to use with your students. So in this text, they talk about the three big questions, and these are simple text markers that help your students with comprehension when they're reading a nonfiction text. So you use an exclamation point to discuss what surprised me, a question mark to indicate what does the author think I already know? What are they assuming that I know? And then a CCC, and that gets into what is changing, challenging, or confirming what I already know. So this is worked in collaboration with a signpost that I will introduce you, with to, introduce you to today. So the signpost is called the numbers and stats. And what, this is just one of the signposts that the book discusses, but it's really great to use in science and social studies classes because it talks about why does an author use numbers. So when you're reading a specific text and you notice specific numbers, number words or amounts, students should stop and ask themselves, why did the author use those numbers or amounts? Because this really helps them come to a conclusion or make a comparison, infer, find specific facts, and recognize evidence. So why are numbers and stats important? So think about if a teacher were to say, turn in your quiz soon. You aren't sure if you have one more minute or 10 more because soon isn't specific and so it isn't really helpful. If a PE teacher says something like, I run a few more laps, you're not sure if that means three or four, and if you're tired, that extra lap could really make a difference. So specific numbers help our students have a clear understanding of what's really going on. What's the reason for them using those numbers? And so it's the same reason that authors use those numbers and stats to really help them better understand the topic. Let me share an example for you. So here is an excerpt from a text called Up Before Daybreak, and this is a short text, but you can see I read this text and I used the three big questions to annotate it based on what surprised me, what challenge confirmed or changed something of my thinking, and something that the author was maybe assuming that I already knew. And then what I did to close read it a little bit better, I went back and I read it a second time, and this time, I circled all the places that the author used numbers. So you can see there's quite a bit in this short three paragraph text. And once I did that, it really brought my attention to why did the author use these numbers, what was the significance of them, and how it related to the other annotations that I used like something that surprised me. So for instance, this is about a young girl who was working in mills from the age of 12 until she was 75. That was something that really surprised me. And then when I went back to look at the numbers themselves, I realized that that was 63 years and that it also dug a little bit deeper on the amount of money that she was making for all of those hours that she spent and all of those years that she spent working. So it really helped me to closely read the text and focus in specifically on the significance of those numbers. So numbers and stats, a great strategy to add to your toolkit when it comes to reading text as a during reading strategy and a post reading strategy to discuss why did the author use those numbers or amounts.